Whew, it's freezing in here. This is why I don't do winter weddings. Family photos. Family photos can be the most annoying thing that you do on a wedding. I don't know any photographer that likes family photos. <laughs> Pretty sure my favorite photographer, Joe Busink, he paid other people to do his family photos for him. He was the main photographer. Family photos, this is your time to shine. This is your time to get in front of people that are going to be your clients and impress them. You need to nail family photos. You need to make everybody look good, but more importantly, they need to be fast. You have to know how to deal with families when you can't find mom. The mother of the groom thinks it's all about her. Aunt Susie is behind you with her cell phone taking pictures and she's snapping away and everyone has to look at her, then look at you, then look at her, then look at you. Make lists of the family photos that you need to get done. Don't walk in there like an amateur. You look like an idiot if you're just saying, uh, so what do you want next? What do you want next? What do you want next? Do you think the bride knows what they want next? She doesn't know what she's supposed to have. You know when she knows what she's supposed to have? Three months after the wedding when she's complaining to you about the shot that she didn't get with your aunt. Whose fault is that? Your fault. You should have made a list beforehand of all the photos that the bride has to sign off on. You're off the hook. So I've got some sets of family photos up here so you can see. Ideally, you want people moving as little as possible. Build them up, break them down. Build them up, break them down. You put people in, but you put them in strategically so you're just adding people to the existing pose of what is going on. Let's take a look. Start off just like this. You've got bridegroom, mom, and dad. Then we add to this picture. No one moves. We just added that sibling on the right-hand side. And then from here, we took out the bride. Then from here, we took out the sibling. Then from here, we took out dad, switched to mom, switched to the sibling. Bam, we're done. That's all the groom side. Then you just repeat on the bride side and that's it. So you just build up and break down. That's how it's done. For example, bride and groom together, bride and groom with bride's mom and dad, bride and groom with bride's mom and dad, add the siblings, then add the siblings' spouses, then add the grandma. Then you take the groom out and then you have the whole family photo without the groom. Then you take grandma away, then you take the in-laws away. Now you've got a family photo of just the bride and her friends and siblings. And then guess what? You take siblings away, you take the 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 siblings Bride's family's done. And that's it. In and out. Just that easy. <laughs> That's it. A little fast for you? If so, click the link below in the description to download a sample family list that you can use on your next job. Make sure that you're subscribed here to Adorama TV, but really to my TV show, Read Your Passion. This is where you're gonna get a ton of information that will help you succeed. Oh, and follow me on Instagram, link is below.